Day two of the Giant Cup 2018 are soon to begin. One of the players who's still in the winner bracket is the player from Team Sampi. It's Twin. Twin, this is your first event as a Team Sampi player, yeah. and so far undefeated. Do you think that will continue and you will end up as a champion? Well, that is the plan. <laughs> well, there's definitely a lot of players still that can make huge waves in the tournament. Maybe some guys that I even managed to slightly, uh, you know, barely beat yesterday, but, uh, you know, it's a new day. Th usually I'm the one that needs to climb back up from the loser bracket, and that's when I'm telling myself it's a new day, it's new me. So I think that's what they are te telling themselves now, and I'll have to be prepared for it. Yeah, because there's almost a saying in Jackmania, some way, somehow, Tween always find a way to get into the grand final. But so far, everybody I talk to, they speak about two favorites. It's between you and Pac. Do you agree with this? Well, I, I'm flattered by that because I consider Pac as someone that is better player than me. And uh, like I know I can beat him on a good day, maybe. But just overall, it's it's very pleasant for me to be considered with on his level, you know? So. And if there's anyone that can like uh, maybe come up, I think Cap has played really amazingly yesterday. And uh, also that that's because of my personal, you know, stuff, but <laughs> I'm cheering for Kappa as well. And uh, Dutchie has also played a great semi uh, winner's bracket semi-final yesterday and uh, He's going to be really tough to play against in a couple of hours. So those are my guys. <laughs> You're back at the top now. Does it feel good? And what is the reason why we see you do so well compared to, let's say, Games Assembly? Honestly, I just had a very nice summer. <laughs> and uh, it really helped me with my me mental game that I have right now. I mean, yesterday morning, it started really bad. I was already like thinking like how how am I going to rationalize this? Like why am I so bad? And uh then we went for lunch. We went, you know, just to relax a bit uh relax a little and uh when I came back it really started going my way, you know. Like maybe half a year ago I wouldn't just still be as calm as I was and maybe I'd panic and it just wouldn't go as well yesterday then. Yeah, I spoke to Kubais uh, during the matches. He said the most calm guy in the room at the moment is Tween. He sort of had this machine mode on. Are you in the zone at the moment? Well, yesterday on the last match of the winner's bracket, like in my head there was a lot going on. I wouldn't consider myself calm. Maybe, yeah. maybe it looks that way, but uh, no, that was super intense for me. I was on the edge every round basically. So uh, I, I wouldn't say that I was <laughs> I was the most calm person in the room. It's the simple the simple and only reason why you are motivated and doing so well. Is it you joining Team Sampi and have sort of a new era or a new start in your game? Yeah, I'm just, I mean, it's n definitely not the only thing. I mean, I'd still be here even without Sampi, but uh, it's also very helpful for like. J just to feel like what I'm doing is, you know, th the hours that you put in, that uh, they really are worth it. Like I could, I could maybe come here with 10 or 20 hours less of less training. Maybe right now be in the loser bracket. You know, I I'd still be happy with it. I I'd have fun, but uh, those made the difference, I suppose. You had your first offline event together with your team in Sampi, and your first trip together as a team. Yeah. What is your uh, first impressions of your teammates when you meet them face to face and hang out together? Like th there's this uh, interesting uh, chemistry, I guess, because me, Kappa and Kubais, we know each other for a long, long time, you know, and uh, we have to uh, we have to try to keep speaking English, basically, you know, and uh, we are trying not to be the you know the, <laughs> the assholes yeah. basically and uh i think it's actually helping us it's keeping us grounded you know and uh also the, the other guys are really nice we've 
we've already like did some team building if you know what i mean and uh we'll ho hope to do some more today <laughs> in the evening <laughs> You're a guy who knows a lot about tournaments and has played many events. What is your uh, feeling about the no finalist mode here at Giant Cup? I've been thinking about it. I mean, for us players, it it feels like the place you get is really just set in stone. So in a way, it's more fair even. But uh, I kind of miss the the finalist modes when there's like let's say there's one winner already, there are two finalists, they're, they're going for it. Everyone at the event just looks at the, the computers of those two guys. And uh, in some matches uh, where it, let's say it's, it's more, like it, it's not too tight in the points. Uh, those just aren't there, you know? With finalist mode, there's always this hype at the end, so. I miss this from a uh, from a spectator's point of view, and uh, yeah, I, I kind of hope it's just a one-off, like uh, that finalist mode will come back. <laughs> and uh, but still, it's a nice change of pace, I'd say. This is my first offline event and first time I see people playing live and feeling the tension in the room, yeah. and I already feel like there is a tension when there's closed matches. But then again, I spoke to Kubais during matches. He was saying, if there's finalist mode, there's so much more tension. Would you say that finalist mode is the most uh, spectator-friendly sort of mode we have at the moment? Definitely. I mean, it can be frustrating. It can be, uh, you know, just demoralizing if you have a good match and all of a sudden you just can't close it out. It's it feels terrible, honestly. But at the same time, it gives maybe a chance for someone who didn't have a good start to, to just pick up momentum and still keep hoping. Whereas when someone gets 20, 30 points ahead in this system, then he just needs to, you know, just finish, capitalize on mistakes that others make. And uh, there's just le less pl pressure even on the, on the guy who's ahead. So maybe it even makes him play mo more calmer and therefore better. So, yeah, I, I just feel like the endings of the race uh, can get a little anticlimactic, yeah. nice word. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. My last topic for you is I cannot have you here without talking about the upcoming World Championship. You are w one of the guys who has done the, the best at the World Championship in the history of the game. How do you feel now one month away from the Czech Mania World Championship? That will take place here in Paris, France. Well, definitely the first thing I'm going to do is take a week of <laughs> take a week break <laughs> because uh, it it isn't just simply about putting in the most hours. It never is, and uh, you you need to you know uh, pick your fights, so to speak. Just train when you can, and uh, I'll take a week now off to just you know get everything else in order, I guess and then just have a calm mind and w watch the qualifiers that are next week and the week after that. And after that, well, I, I'm honestly feeling really pumped to, to make it far into that tournament. It's going to be really just more, maybe more compact than this. Like, it's just going to be 16 people. And uh, I feel it's going to be a lot closer and uh, there, there won't be a single match that will feel like I'm definitely supposed to go to and st stuff like that. So it's going to be nail biting from the very beginning and I, I just need to take it match by match. You have any prediction for where you place in that event? Well, I hope I'll make at least top eight. Hopefully the grand final, that'll be like, it's it's been a while since that, so that'll feel really great and uh, I, I think it's realistic and that that's where my my goals are so let's make it to the finals I remember in the podcast with you I said I will be here in Giant Cup I will do a winner interview with you so if you win you have to come back here but thank you so much for doing this and good luck in your <laughs> winner bracket final match that will take place at two o'clock <laughs> thank you very much and uh, thanks for doing the interview it, it's <laughs> really a nice room here <laughs> It's a nicer room than an interviewer, but <laughs> thank you so much, man. <laughs>